I wanted to answer one of the most frequently asked questions uh, for people who are seeking to be coaches, uh, wanting to get training and thinking, well, maybe this is a good career for me. Um, the question is, isn't the life coaching industry oversaturated? And I have to tell you, I hear this question a lot. And if you think about, uh, especially if you're on Facebook or Instagram or any of these uh, social media networks, you understand the idea of an algorithm. And if you're interested in becoming a life coach, most likely you're probably interested in personal development and in coaching. And so what you're going to see on your feed is lots of coaches, a lot of people uh, teaching courses, a lot of people um, teaching coaching, or wanting to be coaching, or even certifications, because that's the way the algorithm, algorithms work on social media. And um, I just have some quick stats for you from ICF, the International Coaching Federation which is our um, coach training is a accredited training from ICF. And one of the things that I um, want to share is how many coaches there actually are worldwide. And it's about 70,000. Now that seems like a lot, right? But if you think about how many people on the planet, 6 billion, and maybe even if only a million of them want to, be co want to get coaching, it seems to me that there's a great need for coaching. And um, the trend, num trend numbers are always consistent, even from five or six years ago, that coaching is the second largest growing industry. Next to tech, coaching, life coaching is number two. So it's not gonna be trending if there isn't a demand. And what was happening now is that there's not enough really highly trained coaches uh, because the coaching industry is not related, uh, not regulated, there's a lot of people just calling themselves coaches and not really having the proper training. And that's where uh, having a certification, getting something um, that's qualified and accredited by ICF is so important for your career because not only will you work with higher quality clients, you'll also be more confident in your coaching skills if you get the right training. It's really the foundation for your success. Number two is what is the average income for a coach? How much do coaches make? That's a, another great question of whether there's a market for, an, for it or not. And the number is in the North America is 62,000 a year US dollars. So uh, I think that's really low because most of the coaches I know we make well over six figures and even seven figures or eight figures. So it just depends on how big you want to grow your coaching practice. But you can make a pretty nice living uh, as a coach. And the cool thing is you're not working nine to five as a coach. You're not seeing clients all day for five days a week. You're actually officially working maybe part time, um, maybe 10, 20 hours a week in actually the skill of coaching. So that, that seems like a pretty nice um, salary for uh, that type of work, even at its minimum level. So those are some great, uh, great um, stats for you. Uh, there's about 70,000 coaches worldwide. Uh, compare that to how many therapists there are worldwide, how many doctors there are worldwide, how many dentists there are, how many lawyers there are. Uh, there's, of course, in any industry, there's going to be millions and millions of people in that industry. It doesn't stop you from going into it. But the idea that you can um, truly uh, make a good living, it's a fast growing industry. Uh, it, good trained coaches are in demand is really, really encouraging for you if you're interested in being a coach. And the total revenue for the whole industry is 2.8 billion dollars in uh, 2020. So it's just going to get bigger. And, um, and of course, you don't want to just be a coach because it's popular and everyone wants to be a coach now, or it's the fastest growing industry. You want to truly become a coach because you love people and you want to help people and you love personal development and you love personal growth and you want to facilitate that with others. That's the real reason why. The money is extra. Of course, uh, we want to be in a career that brings us revenue and uh, keeps uh, the bills paid. But most importantly, don't be a coach just for the money. You want to be a coach because it's something that's in your heart and your passion.